Let's now talk to Chairman, Committee on Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offences in Zamfara, Dr. Abdullahi Shinkafi. Dr. Shinkafi, we've been hearing about this request for Tekino Jets for a while now. You, you even made a social media post about it earlier this year. Is it that the federal government is not listening to you? Yeah, the way things are going, the federal government is not listening to our appeal and request. Because the issue of insecurity in Nigeria, mostly in the northern part of Nigeria, is, is always persistently going at the hell of the rate. And the Super Takano Jet, the, the federal government of Nigeria, received the six unit of A29 Super Takano, which was procured from the United States of America at the cost of 500 million US dollars. And yet, the president of the federal government of Nigeria, who is the, who is the uh, commander in chief armed forces of the federal government of Nigeria, refused to direct the deployment of this jet to fight crime and criminality in the hard house. And if you look at it, uh, the federal high court have declared this bandit as terrorists. So, going by the declaration of the federal high court, I think the Antonio General of the Federation has the right to take the judgment to the president and the commander to our person of the federal republic of Nigeria to interpret each and every content of that judgment that now, since the federal high court have declared bandit terrorists, so there's no hiding place for bandit. Because this bandit, what is there, what they are doing in the northern part of Nigeria, mostly in the, in the northwest. If you see the day by day in Katsina, the home state of Mr. President, is, there is daily report of attack and indiscrimination by bandits. In Zamfara, where they have turned as their epic center now, more than 40 local government, 40 local government are under siege. But now with the way and the manner the government is handling the security issue, he came out of some proactive measures to fight insecurity in the forest state. Now it has been reduced to the minimum, minimum level. Anka local government, Bakura local government, and Bukun local government is where we are having problem out of the 40 local government. Now. So I appeal to Mr. President and the service chiefs to come to our aid and deploy this super Tokano so that they can fight crime and criminality and flush out this criminal in their heart out. All the uh, uh, Air Force base commandant here has the, has the coordinate of their heart out. So I see no reason why the federal government should not use the taxpayer affairs money they use to buy the Super Tokano are now keep in abeyance. I hear your appeal, uh, Dr. Shinkafi. One will wonder that um, your state government as well as the federal government shared the same political party uh, that it would have been quite easier to be able to liaise with the federal government and also convince Mr. President um, to do exactly the things you're talking about. But we hear in that report that you're planning to uh, support some locals with ammunition in the ongoing fight uh, against banditry. What is the structure you're putting in place to ensure that this doesn't further escalate and for that, empower bandits with firearms. The structure we put in place, first and foremost, we constituted community protection guards. This community protection guard, we call them CFG. CFG are under the command and control of the former commissioner of police, Maman Anka, who is a very experienced, very gallant, and very professional retired police officer. And they have undergone training, and we have availed them to the public, and we are going to find a way to empower them logistically and also to find arms for them to fight crime and criminality in their community. We are going to use them on self defense. When these uh, uh, criminals, armed bandit terrorists, attack the com their community, then those community protection guards will now. We felt they will now fight them. We are not saying that if you are a community protection guard for Shikabi local government, you go to Bumi local government, or you go to Marado local government, and, uh, and uh, protect that community. 
No, stay in your own locality, in your community, to protect your people. And going by the firearms regulation law of 1958, and they also amended regulation law of, 19, of 1990, each and every Nigerian is entitled to have a firearms under that act. And if they... you are at the age of 18 years, if you are not, if you are physically and mentally fit. Okay. So once the once you apply this license for 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 through the commissioner of police and the license is granted to you, then you can use it for self defense because that's a judgment in the Supreme Court of Nigeria that have acquainted and freed uh, somebody who was sued when he killed a criminal when he went to attack him. Then the law has given him the right for self defense. So this is the truth of the matter. And the issue of the uh, of our security lies in the hand of the federal government and also the state government. Section 14, subsection 2B of Nigerian Constitution has said that the responsibility of every responsible government is to protect, to provide security and the welfare of its people. All so right, Dr. Shinkafi, I get you quite well, and the governor, of and we we'll look forward to see how much impact the community guard will bring to uh, Zamfara State Government F14 and in banditry in that part of the country. Chairman, Committee on Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offenses in Zamfara. Dr. Abdullahi Shinkafi, thank you for talking to us tonight. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for having me. God bless you.